Alright. One last game against Litho. Just to be sure. Getting it. I suppose my throat's a little dry. In that case, let's drink to old friendships. Yeah. I have a feeling that I missed something important. <sighs> Recovered your memory. How did you manage to contact Sheila? It wasn't a problem once I learned of the Lodge's existence. Initially, she watched my every move. But sooner or later, everyone starts treating me like a big oaf. I mean, I can't change how I look. I stayed close to Sheila, killed a few beasts for her, and whined about how unhappy I was, how unfair the world was. So much, in fact that I actually got her gander up a few times. I made sure a few potentially trustworthy witnesses saw us together, could link us. Security in case I was captured. I also prepared to assassinate the King of Kavir. Esterad Tyson was to be the first victim of the mysterious assassins. But before I could do the dirty deed, Sheila asked me to slay Demabend. The gods had smiled upon me. I couldn't believe my luck. Here I've been trying to figure out how to frame Sheila. And now all I needed was to carry out her orders and follow through. Where did you get your information about the Lodge? From the Emperor and Vatir Durido, the Emperor's chief spy. And I believe they got it out of Yennefer. She recovered her memory. Nah. I'd never claim she informed on her friends consciously. I expect they found a way to tap into her memory in spite of her amnesia. And without her knowing it. There was a sorcerer present when I was questioned. A young, proud intelligence officer. Whatever the case, they gave me a list of the sorceresses in the lodge. How do you manage to slay Demavan? Sheila's magic. I mean, she could give us the King's every move, his habit. All we had to do was navigate the labyrinth and land the final blow. Besides, she had plenty of gold for the preparations. Greased palms. We barely avoided our pursuers. And we wouldn't have if not for Yarveth Skyatel. Another of Sheila's ideas. With your vessels, not only did we cut down Damavan. How did you know Foltest would come to the monastery solar? Yorveth and I planned Foltest's murder. The King of Temeria would have to deal with the Lavalette sooner or later, and he made no secret of it. I was sure he'd want to recover his bastard children in the process. And where do they take the children when a castle's under siege? I had to become a monk, 
but I couldn't just arrive at the monastery and claim I'd seen the light. Not very believable. So one of Arium's patrols out in the forests happened on a Skyatel unit torturing a helpless monk. Arian's brave men drove off the elves and I found shelter in the monastery. No one noticed you had no wounds? I paid the monk who treated me a lot of orange to stay silent. Actually, it was only a loan, because I killed him later. Only the dead can keep a secret. Then all I had to do was wait for the situation to develop. And I saw you enter the chamber with Faltes. When did you decide to get rid of Yorveth? As soon as I realized I couldn't manipulate him. A true fox, that one. You made a mistake. You were untouchable as long as the... Maybe, but with Yorveth, my... But you didn't. And that allowed me to drive a wedge between you and Yorveth. And I let you live. You know I... No. So Sheila was looking for you when she... Mm-hmm. She thought she was still in control and wanted to get rid of me. And the North descended deeper. Exactly. There was... I could have killed you in the Elven Ruins. Thing is, you weren't really my enemy. Shame you didn't take a shot at Hensel yourself. Maybe I would have killed him. Maybe you would have killed me. Who knows? But Hensel's death, although desirable, Besides, somebody else got... You know who? Come on. Care to... Mm. And you know ma the North resembles... I'm done. Wanna fight? Any vodka left? Time to fight. Ready as I'll ever be. You fear death. Stop fighting and fight. What does it feel like to be almost dead? I said fight. <laughs> Yeah, you're much better. <laughs> you tire quickly. I don't want to kill you. You're nowhere near my level.
That's one way to die. I... That's it. Cheating your sword and going away. Yeah, I think that leaving him be was the best option. As you can see, it doesn't matter, it's the same sequence. The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. The Witcher witnessed a great Ketwini victory in Edirne. At Vergen, Hensel's army crushed Saskia the Dragonslayer's motley force, ending the springtime of races. With Fultest slain, Temeria's barons began to vie for the throne. Many dreamt of donning the crown, yet none could assemble the ally. A tempest descended on the north, at least... It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished. Yep, same thing as always. So as you can see, it doesn't make that much of a difference if you kill them or not. Anyhow, I hope you had fun with The Witcher 2, and we'll see each other in The Witcher 3 again. Hopefully. Maybe there's more people who are interested in that. Anyway, see you then and have a nice time. Pause